so i was like that was a different thing then i accepted that it's part of my culture and i respect it but cut this part out <laughs> <laughs> how and when did stanford happen right so uh, actually stanford was something that even i never expected i was very uh, even i it gives me goosebumps even today that it happened but i'll tell you what really led to that you really don't have control over the destination but you definitely have control over your actions right so i'll tell you what led to that it was uh, of course the course creation was one thing we had written a grant to uh, a research agency which uh, I'm, i'm i mean the details uh, probably ravi sir will and i was in involved in that grant writing which led to some amount of money coming our way but we could not claim it because of they had a two year commitment to stick on that project the skill set of core teaching experience through the course creation and the skill set of writing grants and getting money to the lab even though we might use it or not that's one skill which i learned so then ravi sir was like okay i'll put you in touch with someone and then you have a interview sort of a thing and depending on whether she likes or not then you let let's see how it goes emma brown skill uh, sent a mail to me uh, i think uh, he met her in rldm or some conference then uh, she was kind enough to uh, send a mail and we had a one hour discussion about her interest my interest and if there is any intersection and what are my thoughts about her research and so on and so forth so i was like i never had any expectation you know because it's a very big university and it's better not to have any expectation you go with a free mind if you get it get it just like iitm you get it you get it you don't get it you don't get it uh, so i uh, uh, was fortunate enough to land up in uh, stanford after course creation and uh, grant writing uh, so that was something that i was very lucky it's not something that i did not plan these things i would say that if you want a specific advice read a lot be aware of what are the things happening around you so that your uh, available set of actions will increase and once your action set increases you can take whatever action you want to take uh, it will never be like you are restricted to only a certain set of actions you can send mails to professors you can interact with them if you strongly feel that you have a genuine interest and if you have some thoughts uh, that you would like to put across put, put across in mail writing to the professor put it uh, it has to be an honest genuine hard work which the professor can sense you know like he can sense if you have written something genuine or not more than the biggest surprise of getting into stanford the memory that even uh, it just my mind is the biggest failure that happened on the iac day because i remember uh, working so hard for it so hard for it i had spent around two night uh, night hours and then very less sleep and i wanted to crack that one interview Uh, but i had cracked like it was a 40 minute interview everything went well but finally he said look you can do a phd or something like that but uh, mtech is mtech research is very competitive uh, i was like ah, come on give me a chance or something i mean i i it's didn't okay. want to beg him it's okay it's okay destiny wanted us to meet yes <laughs> destiny wanted me to meet pande and things happened the way it happened so i made some good friends in iit madras of course you are there of course there's so many bunch of people in rbc filled with so much of positivity for in research it's more about patience and commitment on a consistent basis because you cannot get results in one day it's it takes some time and you also have to have healthy discussions in the lab yes so that atmosphere iit madras provided and the freedom also you know if you are interested in course learning do it read it and uh, create a course or maybe if you are interested in reinforcement you can pursue that path that freedom is something that uh, iit madras gave me how how was your experience at stanford so stanford was really good dude so stanford uh, was on a whole new level whole new level because uh, there is collaboration on a department scale like suppose if you are interested in law or economics and engineering and if you want to do something in the intersection of all these things then stanford gives you that opportunity or any other big university i am seeing that trend coming to iit madras but it is not really full fledged you know but it's coming there is an yeah. opportunity that people are trying to oh, take the it will be there it will slowly be there but when i went to stanford i felt that uh, the collaboration was really good uh, across departments like uh, not just engineering departments but across humanity departments or law departments and so on and so forth which uh, gave me a whole di- whole new dimension to research like i initially thought causal inference is only very engineering sort of a thing when i went there causal inference was used in legal side or maybe in economic side but then it gave me a perspective that don't restrict yourself just to engineering department maybe 
maybe you can try some social sciences or public policy or maybe economics or it gave me a wider perspective on what to do and nowadays since you have internet i would also encourage you or uh, all the audience to just go and browse through these departments because you'll get an idea that it's not about just engineering if you're interested maybe in business or maybe you want to do pursue research in that dimension you can do business research also uh, never be under the impression that uh, never be peer pressured or uh, by by your friends or maybe your family that you have to do only machine learning or reinforcement learning or only computer science if you are uh, not liking it do something else and maybe you can shine in that how internship at stanford shaped you as a researcher right so for me i was near, uh, i did, never had a theoretical uh, way of uh, writing papers so what is uh, theoretical research is you need to first make your assumptions and definitions and axioms very clear and then you build your lemmas and theorems and proofs and so on and so forth. i have written one position paper i sent one paper to uai but i got uh, very harsh uh, reviews and rebuttals wherein they said this guy doesn't know causal inference i think it was before <laughs> going to stanford before, right before going to stanford before going to stanford so they got very harsh rebuttals by saying that you need to know how to write papers you need to know how to construct your arguments i didn't know what they meant by that now after going to stanford i know what they mean now when they say you need to construct your arguments well it's always about axioms to proofs like that so it's not like iit madras did not have uh, such kind of research as iit madras also have uh, they also have such kind of research it's just that i didn't know whom to ask such kind of questions <laughs> because uh, uh, they assumed that these are the things that the researcher knows so uh, stanford trained me how to write a theoretical paper which is a good skill to have any good or crazy memories from stanford stanford crazy memories so i crazy memory see stanford i actually started learning how to cut my hair because of corona and stuff like that <laughs> so uh, there was a uh they i mean now i have little bit of hair but the secret is i went bald <laughs> i went completely bald okay. but uh, i mean uh, make sure that my parents don't watch this video but i went completely bald and i was all alone with a bunch of americans so they didn't mind shaving my head and i shaved my head and uh, i was happy i mean i that was that was a new experience shaving the head feeling the wind blow on your head and i <laughs> so the things that uh, uh, as a person with hair never realizes but it's like uh, the wind blowing on your face and the wind blowing on your head and you feel like uh, this is a new experience especially when you're riding bicycles and all right you you feel that so that is one thing new experience i felt and apart from that i used to uh, it, it was a very lonely time right back in my home so i used to call a bunch of friends my school buddies and uh, uh, we used to dance like i i dance used to dance over zoom uh, so that was good where uh, random music and dancing and things like that just to keep yourself free and these are the very gloomy days you need uh, you need to relax for some time right so that was something that uh, i tried so th- these are all like going to stanford like being in stanford uh, if you want to ask some so i spent only two weeks in stanford after that lockdown happened uh, so the crazy experience of stanford is uh, it's very fast dude like it's very fast paced if you're in stanford uh, it's a very fast so you can feel that there is commotion and there is progress happening and uh, if you are if you're not progressing uh, then someone else will be progressing you can feel that and there is a very nice community that will help you where people will people will approach uh, if you if you need some help you can approach someone so there's a lot of give and take and things happen at a very rapid pace so back in iit madras i was very laid out relaxed and ha yaar yeah, you can do your research and so on and so forth but once in stanford it was game on it was like uh, there are deadlines there are strict deadlines the group i was part of was very much into deadlines and progress and stuff like that doing causal and friends and uh, course creation was a very isolated event right in stanford uh, i learned how to collaborate well so that is a, a nice skill to have in research uh, in iit madras it was always about being alone and doing my research in stanford i learned how to interact with the team and how to learn from others and how to frame your research ideas by using other strengths on a lighter note did you try hitting on someone <laughs> I I wanted to man but then like the whole concept of this lockdown I mean how unkind is god to all of us right like uh, california is the place to 
for music or maybe the beaches and i i went on a cycle i took a big cycle ride you can, i mean anyone who is watching this video you should get one cycle and just drive around or get a bus and take a bus pass and just drive around move around the city and it'll be like you you uh, people are generally very communicative they even on roads they talk if you go and approach them they're very friendly so you can just uh, strike a conversation so i had very interesting conversations with my my room mates were from stanford but they were born and brought up in america right so i got to know about their culture how what the festivals whatever they uh, celebrate so it was new experience for me in that way like it, the intermingling of culture was something that uh, i never experienced it before like i would travel to other places and so on and so forth but living with them and staying with them and what sometimes uh, i used to feel like maybe this can lead to a fight and so on and so forth. Uh, but then i was like maybe should not uh, invade into their space so you'll understand these subtleties when you live with a uh, different culture so that was a very nice experience and music if you like music there are some good bars and all i i did not visit so there was a very close friend who was staying close to that place so he used to cook some very, really nice dishes for me so <laughs> i used to just go and uh, any time i'm bored he used to make some nice things and i used to go to his place uh, or else i used to uh, just uh, order some there are so many indian restaurants there like i am a pizza buff okay like i uh, music and pizza if it is there then nothing in the world can shake me even corona can shake me. like <laughs> so i had music i had pizza and then i had some kickass uh, friends who who could who can cook some really nice stuff for me and life was game on like that's all i wanted and i had my cycle if i feel bored i used to just travel around it's very nice if you have lived in iit madras then the vibe is very it's very residential and filled with forest and all right california is very quick in its pace and its music and its people so i was like that was a different thing then i accept it that it's part of their culture and i respect it but cut this part out <laughs> cut this, cut this part out <laughs> yeah i mean uh, so the thing is i'll cut this <laughs> it's okay